Well, the sad news is it's going to be a real tough bounce back for the folks here. Not just the folks who run these businesses, but the people who live in this city. Remember, they had that fire last month. And Sandy, one year ago tonight. Seaside Heights just hours after the superstorm and Seaside Heights today. Uh, this is a very blue-collar community. Bill Acres, Mayor's Borough, Seaside Heights. But you're not just the mayor, you're a guy who lives here, runs a restaurant as well. That's, that's right. He's been here for a generation, but never has there been a year like this. The storm, the fire, rebuilding the boardwalk twice. I think probably three to five years before we're fully... Uh, recovered. Sandy left images for the mayor he will never forget. It's a house sitting in the middle of the street. And then there's the jet star, that roller coaster washed into the Atlantic. It happened on Mayor Acres Boardwalk on Mayor Acres Watch. Here, is that the jet star right there? That is the jet star. Right now, that, I, I have to look at that as that's, that's the past. That's we're going to be forever changed. I really believed in the back of most people's minds that this thing was not going to be nearly what it turned out to be. Would you have done anything differently if you thought that it was going to be a bigger storm? Oh, absolutely. What's uh, that? We would have been, I think we'd have been um, a little more aggressive with um, getting the people out. Remember, even though it's a mandatory evacuation, you cannot physically go in and make someone yeah, nobody's going to pull you out. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. In the storm cleanup game, there are no do-overs, but there are little wins. Like the shore store here. You can even get your twerk underwear if you need that, right, right Mayor? Yeah. You need them. This is all part of the experience. Uh, this store, this boardwalk, that beach, uh, funnel cake, uh, sausage sandwiches, some of them won't come back. Right next door, connecting buildings, not open. I don't know when this is going to be open again. Some businesses just didn't have enough insurance. For others, FEMA money came in too late. Seaside Heights is still adding up the true cost of Sandy. We're going to be somewhere around $50 million for, for this Seaside community. Heights alone. For Seaside Heights alone. But there wasn't one loss of life here. Not one loss of life. And that's remarkable. Ain't that the truth? Just part of our conversation with the mayor of Seaside Heights just a few hours ago right here on the boardwalk. But Paul and Kelly, uh, this is just one part of Seaside Heights. If you look at the entire island we have here and you go to places like Ortley Beach, you'll find places that look like Sandy hit last night and not last year. Dave, thank you so much. And, you know, we're so 